good morning all let us discuss garbage in garbage out part 2 composting the biodegradable domestic garbage like the waste from kitchen peels of fruits vegetables fallen leaves etc are put down in a pit near the landfill and covered with sand this process of converting plants and animal waste materials into manure by rotting is called composting the compost thus obtained is a natural fertilizer it is used as manure for the proper growth of the plant it can be put in kitchen garden agricultural fields flower pots etc the method of making compost from kitchen garbage by using red worms or earth worms is called vermi composting the compost thus obtained is called vermi compost vermi compost is a very high quality manure the earth worm used in vermi composting do not have teeth let us discuss vermi composting the method of preparing compost with the help of this red worm is called vermi composting let us now make a comfortable home for our red worms in the pit or the box red worm is a type of earth worm keep a wooden box at a place which is neither too hot nor too cold spread a net or chicken mesh at the bottom of the pit or the box you can also spread one or two cm thick layer of sand as an alternative now spread some vegetable waste including peels of fruits over this layer of sand you can add animal dung leaves newspaper husk etc however shiny or plastic coated paper should not be used for this purpose sprinkle some water to make this layer wet take care not to use excess of water do not press the layer of waste keep this layer loose so that it has sufficient air and moisture now our pit is ready to welcome the red worms buy some red worms and put them in our pit cover them loosely with a gunny bag or an old sheet of cloth or a layer of grass our red worms need food we can give them vegetable fruit waste coffee and tea remains and weeds from the field or garden do not use waste that may contain salt pickles oil vinegar meat and milk preparations as food for your red worm if you put these things in the pit disease causing small organisms start growing on the pit once in a few days gently mix and move the top layer of your pit red worms do not have teeth they have a structure called gizzard which help them in grinding their food powdered egg shells or sea shells could be mixed with the waste a red worm can eat food equal to its own weight in a day red worms do not survive in a very hot or very cold surroundings they also need moisture around them If you take good care of your worms in a month's time their number will double. Observe the contents of the pit carefully after 3 or 4 weeks. After 4 weeks we can see loose soil like material in the pit. 
This is vermicompost. Put some waste as food in one corner of the pit. Most of the worms will shift towards this part of the pit, vacating the other part. Remove the compost from the vacated part and dry it in the sun for a few hours. The part left in the pit has most of the worms in it. We can use these for preparing more compost or share them with another user. Now our compost is ready. Use this excellent vermi compost in your pots, gardens or fields.